more boxes than the man who's got a lot of boxes on National Box Day doing a demonstration of having too many boxes to people who've got too many boxes. Welcome to our box comparison. Here we are then. Six lovely boxes all in a row. Clearly the black ones are the Boomot boxes and the horrible looking silvery things are <laughs> my old, two years old now, BMW boxes. And we've put them up like this so you can see a comparison in the sizes. The uh, Boomot boxes are a little bit higher. They're the same size, but it's just a little bit higher um, and a little bit longer. So on the bike, it looks like they come down a little bit, a bit lower than the um, BMW boxes. The biggest difference I think you can see is the size of the top box of the BMW and the Boomot one. I mean, this is a massive box and it takes a helmet with plenty of space, whereas the BMW one, you just get a helmet in there basically. Um, I haven't got a problem with that. I think it's a really good sized bag. Uh, when I go away to a uh, box, sorry, when I go away touring, uh, I tend to leave this box empty uh, and just have it as a day day stuff where I've got food in there, you know, if I need drink and uh, any other stuff. But um, it is a significantly bigger box than the uh, the, the BMW one. And the big pannier on the uh, on the BMW one again is. It's just a little bit narrow, a little bit wider than the actual Boomot box, but then again, the Boomot is a little bit longer. So same sizes, pretty much. Okay, so here's the uh, the big two big panniers. Obviously, uh, the BMW pannier and the Boomot pannier. Um, you can see the state of after two years how pitted the aluminium is on this one, and that's the reason we covered them uh, with uh, a car wrap. But the way I've got them like this is just so you can see the um, fixing. Uh, situation on the racks. They use exactly the same OEM racks. This is the BMW one. It has the four lugs that slide into the rack and you have the key uh, that clips in to the side to the side uh, runner on the on the actual rack itself. Whereas the Boomot one is very simple. This fits over the bottom rack. These two little areas here fit onto the side racks and this just clamps down over the top. The only problem with this one is if you're not waiting, when you take it off, um, if you're not ready for it, it'll just fall off. Whereas this one, you had to physically lift it off. Comparison in weight, I think the Boomot ones are a little bit lighter. They certainly seem a little bit lighter. But if I show you how they open, standard opening on the BMW one is with a piece of wire that holds it all together. And this is the way the Boomot one opens. It's got a, a restricted hinge. I think it's, there's probably a, a mechanical term for that, but you know, this doesn't blow open. Whereas this one, you know, if the wind catches it, it will close. The welding and, and uh, the work inside is, um, is you know, it's welding and, and you know, that's, that's the way it is. However, in the BMW one, there seem to be a lot more bolts because it's got to have all this malarkey here which is the, you know, the holding system for the, uh, for the racks bolted to it. And it doesn't have a waterproof seal. It just has a, a, v, a V that fits up inside. If you imagine a male piece fits up inside a female piece here and it's just a very thin piece of rubber. Whereas this one has got a huge big padded waterproof seal. So the difference is quite, quite uh, striking. Really. <laughs> the good thing about this um, waterproof system here is the actual waterproof um, sponge or seal, if you want, fits down around the loop, the lip of the actual box itself. So when it fits in, it's a complete seal. Whereas this is a little bit flimsy. Um, and I have had, been riding in really bad weather for, for a long time, and water has eventually found its way inside there. It's not so bad if you've got waterproof bags, but actually when I took these boxes off my bike, this, pan, this pannier did have water in the bottom of it. So that's the way it is. So when you're riding along, um, do they feel any different, the Boomot ones to the, to the uh, BMW ones? I would say no. Um, if anything, it feels a little bit lighter perhaps, but uh, you know, if you've got uh, two people on your bike, you're not going to notice that anyway. But um, it's, it's just another panny really. So here we are, the two top boxes, BMWs 
and the Boomot ones, made for the Brave there, it says it on there. Um, you can see there is a marked difference in size. The Boomot one is definitely bigger than the BMW one. I'd like to just show you how they fit, if that's possible, to the bottom of the bike. Very delicately turning them over. Okay, you see the BMW one has got the lugs where it clips into the OEM frame. And this one just has a couple of plastic um, swivel pieces down here and a lip that fits into the OEM. Very, very simple and not complicated at all. BMW opens in a standard BMW way, comes up with a little piece of wire, which we've already mentioned could get blown. The boom up one's very simple. This hinge that doesn't fall down. Exactly the same seal, exactly the same seal on the bottom of these. I just think this is a better, better made piece of kit, um, the Boomot one. Very substantial locks on the side. And if you look inside the Boomot one, you can see how we actually fix it to the bike. So in the Boomot pan, it's completely different to the way the BMW um, works. The BMW has a lugs underneath the, the box that clip into the pannier and then they're locked in with the, with the, uh, with the standard key. These ones have a knurled knob inside which is sat on top of a, if I take this right off, you can see there's a, a bolt that comes through there. Oh, very substantial piece of, uh, piece of material. And if we go to the bottom of the, the box, You'll see what that does. The knob I was undoing before is attached to this. Okay, and all this does is this clips onto the bottom of the frame on the OEM uh, rack and then it's tightened up by using the bolt inside and that holds it tight. This lip here fits into the frame and that's all, is, all there is to it. There's no locks, nothing like that, nothing involved. But the good thing I think about it as a safety feature is, unless they can get inside the panniers, they can't take the pannier off. Whereas a BMW one, they could smash that lock, um, you know, and, and run away with it. I'm not saying that happens, but you know, it's, it's, it's possible. To remove these, uh, the box from the bike, you don't actually take these nuts completely off, you just undo them so they're slack and that piece of plastic swivel piece can, can move away out of the way so you lift it off the, off the rack itself. It's really, really simple. BMW panniers, boom up panniers, made for the brave. I uh, hope you liked the video. If, uh, if you do, give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to us because that's important. And uh, we'll see you on our next video. Thanks for watching.